Welcome back, everyone. Uh, without wasting any time, we're going to see what's behind this door. The highest point in the Rogetsu Hall. Their most important patient. Sakuya. Let's see here. God damn it, there's another door. It's okay, it's leaving us in suspense. Got a doll here. Nice. I don't think that's a real doll. Though. Yeah, that's that's not one of the collectibles. Assistance note number six. This is the assistant doctor, the whistleblower, if you remember. About the patient in the fourth floor isolation ward. I'll do another observation today, but I think her condition is hopeless. When a woman has a psychic disposition like her, with a sharp spiritual sense, then contracts Luna Sedata syndrome, they often suffer from significantly more severe symptoms. Am I crazy or was the commas a little weird there? She's probably a prime example. Her mind is heading towards certain collapse. She chooses to maintain herself only with a doll. Her habit of holding dolls is a means for her to be of calming herself. This is because she is in need of a spiritual vessel to reflect her inner self. She gave Mizuki a doll. That must be a, a good sign of trust. The method of using a doll as a representation of oneself to help the patient understand confused memories might be employable with other patients as well. However, the doll's effect was temporary, temporary and it has only slightly delayed the collapse. The director, capitalized, is working eagerly to find a cure, but many methods have already been tried. Yeah, some of which killed children. This guy's a hack. Any further treatment may do little more than simply torment her. Hmm. At what point is enough enough, you know? There's no doll in here. Ooh, there's cobwebs. This is a really creepy room, I'm gonna be honest. Oh god. Oh, maybe I should give her privacy. I don't want to walk into that. In this room, the person in the photo... Cutscene? Or a game crash? Cutscene. This must be a memory. Maybe that's the doll she'll give us. See, she's pretty. Oh, Jesus. Aww. That's unfortunate that she had to see that happen to her friend. She better not attack me, because she's the ghost that insta-kills. She's just looking at me for now, that's okay. Assistance Note 5. I love this character, I don't know why. I just love the idea of like some guy like getting hired for an internship with like this prestige doctor, only for all this bullshit to happen, and he's like the only one with brains about it too, like any sense to like get the authorities involved. Anyway, the other day, a nurse committed suicide. The patient in the isolation ward called her the faceless person. For some reason, she suddenly ran into the isolation ward and committed suicide in front of the patient. That's so fucked. That's so fucked. There were indications that she had been hysterical recently. But scared or not, I don't know why she went to see the patient in the first place. I had noticed how she had been walking around the metal bars without any purpose. When we discovered the nurse, the room was in a mess, but the patient just sat in her bed as always, smiling. For some reason, I too can't recall that nurse's face clearly. There was a similar case before, where a different nurse got scared. I am wondering if instead of keeping the patient in, these bars are to prevent anyone from going to see her. She's still looking at me. No, thank god. That would've been... creepy. I kind of wanna... well... 
I kind of want to say what's on the bed for last, just because I think it wants me to go there. Sakia's diary, too. Okay, maybe the one on the bed is her first diary. Shit. That's okay, we'll read these out of order. The person who ushers in the souls. People eating away at my own sound. Please, I don't want you to know your pain. I'm like you. Misaki won't be like me. It's broken up, I guess. A world without sound, a world without sound. A world without sound. I'll give you my sound. <laughs> Yeah, Miski has a strange connection with this lady. Diary 1, perhaps? This is her diary. Because I am put inside the doll, even when I forget about myself, the I inside the doll can answer for me. I can be without losing myself. Today, what is my name? And searching, searching the answer could come back. The doll's inside me, it's within the child inside me, goes insane. It's like slam poetry. SLAM POETRY! Eating, sleeping, inside of me. I can hear the growing children. The sound of the awakening. Okay, I'll stop. No, I won't. The soul collapsing, returning. Salvation! SLAM POETRY! I'm not going insane, I promise. Um, what? I guess the blue I'm seeing is out there, yeah. Oh, she has a lovely doll collection. Uh, huh? Whoa, whoa. No, I don't want to pick that up. I want to go out here. I remember that. It's another puzzle, so I want to get this stuff first. Misaki's diary, my own diary. Okay, sorry, I had a cut there, uh, I got a phone call, um, but now we're good to go. Alright, Misaki's diary. I'm not allowed to meet with Mia anymore. I always get scolded. Uh, who's Mia again? Is that the name of the girl in black? I think we, I think we did learn that. By Sakuya, by anyone. Despite that, I feel good. Even when I'm broken, I feel good. It's a strange and completely different feeling. Mia's voice puts me in a good mood whenever I hear it. But she said that I soon can't. That soon I can't. Whatever. See her anymore. Okay. These breaks are really confusing me. I don't want to be lost again. When she's not here, I really feel so confused that I can't stand it all. But Mia tells me that Misaki is Misaki. Because Mia exists, I'm okay. Mia is special to me and stays beside me. Me means sea, ya means night, and we will always be together. Okay. Plus a box panel. Alright. She got like her own little garden area. I guess that could be therapeutic. Especially if you get to see the moon from here. I don't know if you can. Where is the moon? Anyway. Time for the puzzle box. These panels seem to slide. If I move them, I can probably arrange the pattern. Dude, this is a huge jigsaw puzzle. Oh no! I can't do a jigsaw puzzle, are you joking? No. I can't do this. Huh? No. Go fuck yourself. I can't do this. This is either easier than I think or it's exactly as difficult as I think it's going to be. In which case, I might have to cut out a lot of struggling here. Okay, the water goes on the bottom, so let's get the water to the bottom. And 
and then the, the moon's in like the upper right corner. No, the fire goes there. I think the fire goes there. No. This, no. This is gonna take me forever. Wow, okay, so... I actually had to call in for some reinforcements to help me figure this puzzle out. I I started streaming the game to uh, a friend of mine, and she was able to to help me solve this thing. Um, I totally... I mean, that... Just solving it took... With help, an extra, like, 15 to 20 minutes, so... I have been here for a while, so I'm, I'm going to change the graphics back down to the best performance level, and we'll continue on from there. I'm glad I had help, because there's I was floundering, as you could have seen. I'm sure I'll leave in some of my struggles. I don't, I don't want to just completely cut to the, to the answer. Uh, but yeah, so moving on. We'll finally get to see what's inside this box here. Sakuya's Diary 3. Did we just do that whole thing for another fucking diary entry? A peaceful sound. This... Is this the last sound that I'll hear? What? People's souls are masses of sound, but so many sounds are echoing that I cannot hear. The day of the end nears. I have no memories. N no but that good. Sound returned to me for a moment. Father, you, Ayako, goodbye. Or, or is that yo? That's yo... Wait a minute. I, wait. So she's a Hybara, right? Sakuya? So father's the director, yo is her brother, and Ayako is her sister? Did I know Ayako was a Hybara? I think I suspected, but that this confirms it. What a messed up family. That really was all I was in there. Are you joking? The doll is missing an eye. Um, are any of these a collectible doll? You'd think they would hide one here, right? With the other dolls? Guess not, though. Well, now what? No, really, what am I supposed to do now? Hello? Hi, Mia. Or, what was it? Sea? Sky? Sea? Moon? I don't... I had a vision of something. 
I remember now. What do you remember? What the fuck? I'm on the roof suddenly? Did Sakiya kill herself? Holy shit, she killed herself. She she flung herself from the ceiling. Suicide woman's note. Or was that the nurse taking care of... I think that might have been the nurse taking... No. I don't know if that was Sakiya or the nurse taking care of her. There's a suicide note left behind where the woman jumped. I'm so sorry. I am dying before you. It's my body's fault because I become so easily possessed. I'm so incredibly frustrated. Why does my possessed rampage have to hurt everyone? At that time, I was unconscious. What was I doing? What happened? Everything was black to me. It hurt me. But because I had you, I was able to endure this pain. But because of Luna Sedata Syndrome, the memories of you, the only ones that can help, are flickering. It's already being lost from my memory. There is no way to endure this pain. If the only memories of this illness are of pain, how much of Sakuya's mind is it possible to save? So must be the nurse. Oh no! It just clicked. This is Sakuya's mother. That's right, the director's wife. Our daughter is like me. She suffers just like I do and taste the same pain of loss. Shigeto, please, protect our daughter. The moon is growing brighter. Shigeto, Sakuya, Yo, I am truly sorry. The moonlight will guide me as I give up this body. That's sad, dude. Shit. Why did they show me that, though? Where am I now? Who took me here? The girl in black? There's something over here. Alright, walk around it, Misaki. That's really sad, dude. The chime function. What does that do? I'm curious. this one? No, it's this one here. Chimes to alert you of nearby Hozuki dolls. Oh, okay. We have a little, like, tracker now. It'll make, like, a ringing noise if I get close to one. There's something here. Dude, it's just blackness beyond this building. That's really unsettling. There's nothing out there. Am I still on fucking Earth? Like... What messed up place am I in? Hello. It's a keyboard. Nice. Various objects have been left here. There's a television and a stove amongst the junk. I'm more interested about the keyboard. I'm really scared. I don't know where I am anymore. I don't even know if I'm in the same building. Oh, it, it sounds like chimes in the wind. That's pleasant. Should be easier to find those now. This might be a double length video, because I don't remember how long the video before the stupid puzzle box was, so. I'm sure no one's gonna arrest me if I make a 30 minute video. I don't know where I am, dude. Was that. The, was that the. That was the roof, so is this gonna be back to the fourth floor? I 
feel like I might be in the hospital, or the, yeah, the hospital now, instead of the asylum. Okay. Uh, this is a very weird place. The taps are rusted shut. You can't turn them. Well. Oh, there's another doll. I hope I'm on Type 7. I might be wasting ammo here. I'll have to double check. Yeah, I am. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. So I guess this whole room was just for the doll. Why'd she have to, why'd she have to walk like that? Miski. It's just clothing. Alright. Moving onward. I'm so disoriented now, after I got teleported like that. This is definitely the hospital. There's a little... There's a baby door there. What the hell? Oh, I heard the chimes. There's a doll nearby. That's like the third doll since I got here. Patience note. Yeah, I don't know who this belongs to. It was yesterday. It felt as if a mass of black insects were slowly crawling around beneath my skin. It was agony. Unbearable. But then I saw the moon. The pain melted away, and I reached up into the moonlight, trying to let it touch every part of me. I'm doing like a weird, like, a Alan Wake voice. I was on the rooftop, on the verge of climbing over the handrail. Had I gone one step further, I would have died. At the time, though, I felt only curiosity and relief, and no fear at all. I always make fun of Alan Wake's voice, just because it's overly, like, narrative, I don't know. On the evening of a full moon, it feels like I can do anything, even if it hurts the person I love. I can choose to live or to die. Everything is permitted under the moonlight, and everything is accepted the following day. At those times, that's how I feel. I'm not going to stop the voice, I'm sorry. That's why I don't want to be allowed to go outside on the night of the full moon. I don't want to be drawn to... Blah, blah, blah. I don't want to be drawn to it to start to lose my sanity again. I can't look at the sea when the moon is out. I can't visit the roof. I can't try to touch out... Touch or reach out to the moon. I'm fucking up. All that I know is, three people have already thrown themselves from the roof on the night of the full moon. Will I end up following them to the abyss? I don't know, Alan Wake. Did you? There's the doll. Oh, it's in the, it's in the other baby door. What's the purpose of these little doors? Like, I'm assuming it's a real thing. Is it to help with ventilation? Or, or air circulation? It's very strange. Can't believe Alan Wake is dead. I've never actually finished Alan Wake. I should probably... I've tried, like, multiple times, but I always lose interest a couple chapters in, unfortunately. Which is weird, because I'm such a Stephen King fan, and that game is like a, a tribute to Stephen King. It's full of his quotes, uh, full of his mannerisms. I don't even know where I'm going anymore. I might as well check every room, since I've never been here. This is a very ominous room. A fourth doll. There's dolls everywhere. Fragment of unsent letter. The island has records of Dr. Kunihiko Aso's visits in the Meiji period. It seems he invented many a thing, many things to communicate with the spirit world, but the extent of their effect is in doubt. Currently, Kunihiko Aso's inventions are regarded as pseudoscience and are not recognized at all. I've studied Dr. Aso's book, which talks about the many mass of the island. It is an inqu it is an inquiry into the masks, erratic and fragmented, but daring and intriguing. According to Dr. Oso's inquiry, the island's masks were made to affect the mind of the wearer. For example, when you look at the face of a smiling man, you become happy. It is human nature to adapt to what is seen. Dr. Oso noted that emotions are shared by expressions. This must be interesting for Misaki to be reading, because it's about her ancestor. I keep saying ancestor, because I don't know how far removed he is, like if he's a grandfather or a great-grandfather, but... 
The island's masks, although exquisite, are not meant to control the emotions of people that are seen. He said that the moon represents the inner self, like one aspect of their mental state. A girl Doctor also saw, who had never played a flute before, began to play one after she put on a mask. He also talked about the mask seemingly unconsciously stimulating areas of the brain and playing the role of recording memory. The story about how the masks store memories is interesting. You know, there's actually, I've actually read about this myself a little bit. Some of this is true, like obviously it's being exaggerated, but there have been reports of people um, getting different areas of the brain stimulated when they put a mask on, and it, it actually affects their skills in certain areas. Of course, not to like the degree of like someone who never played a flute before suddenly is an expert, but it's still interesting. In a further inquiry, Doctor also shared his experiences with the masks on something like a radio, which he wrote down. The ultimate experience to share is the experience of death, but no point can be reached to which it can be sufficiently enjoyed. Doctor also was inspired to make special parts and films for the Camera Obscura using the island's techniques and paints. The Camera Obscura was put in the Osso Museum, and it has such a presence in literature that I truly would love to see it. There's a little, uh... Kunihiko also fanboy there. Can't blame him. I think I'll end the video here. Because I'm kind of worried it's, gonna, it's getting too long. It might be getting too long. But yeah, we'll end it here. Um, we'll continue on next time. See you then.